Okay, in this demo, I have a very simple Spring Boot application, and I've created one simple welcome HTML page. It's just a static page. And I have started my Spring Boot application, and it is running on port 8080. So let's actually go through and let's actually run this now and look at it. You're going to see I'm looking for localhost 8080 slash welcome dash dot html now first thing you notice is of course we get this white label error page the truth is what this page is is a generic error page and as you see here the error that it is trying to display for is a http 404 where the file is not found so we've got two things we're going to try to fix First of all, let's correct this white label error page. Okay, in order to change the white label page, we need to create a static page, or at least we're going to create a static page. We could do this dynamically, but I'm going to show you how to do it with just an HTML page. The first thing you need to do, of course, is in the resources, source, main, resources, we need to create a new directory and we're going to call this public. Now we've got a public directory. We're also going to create another directory called, and I'm just pasting this in here. I already have it called error. Now we've got an error page or error directory. And as you see, I've created a HTML page here that is right? That is called 404.html. That's all I did to put in here. I, and I also only named it the name of the HTTP exception that could occur. So for example, this is a 404 error. Now let's actually just, just in case, let's restart our Spring Boot application. And after we start this, Let's go back to our error page again. Now, here's the page we had right now. I'm not, I hadn't changed anything else. Let's restart this and notice now we get the 404 page instead of the standard white label page that we got before. Now, let's actually say we wanted to add other HTML pages for other types of errors. And I, I, let's, let's do an easy one real quick. So if I decided to add a 401 exception, we'll just add that real quick. Now a 401 happens to be unauthorized, happens to be, right, unauthorized exception. And now if we were to actually get a 401 unauthorized exception in our Spring Boot application, this is the page that would actually show. So we just have to add whatever HTTP error codes that we want to catch for if they are an exception. Now, there's one thing we're going to finish up here, though. We did have an error, and we showed a 404 because the page was not found. Now, wait a second. We have a welcome page right here, and we can't find it. So what is the issue? How do we actually show this static content within our Spring Boot application? Well, that's simple. We actually have it in the wrong location. And in order for Spring Boot to pick this up, we're going to refactor this page and we're going to move it. Now, where we're going to move it to is going to be into our public directory. So now, as you see, we, we do have error pages, but now we have a welcome page within a source main resources public directory. Let's restart this again, just in case, to show you that we're cleaning it out. We now have a new location for this welcome page. So now, by going back to our welcome page here, now we actually see our welcome. We no longer see the 404 error because we have successfully served up this static page. 